Okay, happy to see you here. Really interesting algebra problem today. Which one is larger? 40 to the power 39 or 31 to the power 40? Really interesting and tricky question. I hope you will enjoy this video. Okay. So how can we solve this interesting question? As you can see, 40 is a good number. Yeah, we can write it as 2 times 20, as 4 times 10. So we can easily express this in another way. Yeah, but 39 is not a good number. We can write it only as 3 times 13, which is which is not good for us. Yeah, the 13 is not a good number. This is prime number. So this is bad situation with this 39. So let's suggest you to look at this really interesting approach. So take a look. If we divide 40 to the power 39 if we divide this left number by the right number so 39 to the power 40 if we divide it as a fraction so what what can we expect right here we can expect two cases so the first case is when the this answer will be less than one if the now this the answer is less than one then our denominator will be greater yeah because if we have like the answer is less than one so for example one over six we have yeah then six is greater than one so we can easily say that our 39 to the power 40 is greater than uh, 40 to the power 39 but if if one will be like let if the answer is greater than one then our numerator will be greater for example we have like four over over three yeah so our numerator is greater so this is really important moment right here i hope you understand this step because we are going to divide 40 to the power 39 over 39 to the power 40. okay 40 to the power 39 and dividing by 39 to the power 40. Okay, let's try to divide it step by step. So first of all, we can easily express this as a power of 39 because on the in our numerator we have like 40 to the power 39. Yeah, and in our denominator we have like 39 to the power 40. We can express this as 39 to the power 39 plus 1. Yeah, so we can express our denominator like that. Okay, let's go next. I hope you understand this step. This is what our rule right here, because if we have like, I write this rule right here real quick, if we have a to the power x plus y, we can write it as a to the power x times a, a to the power y. Yeah, this is really important rule right here. And let's apply this rule in this moment. Okay, let's do this. We have like the same numerator, we have 40 to the power 39 and in our denominator we will have like 39 to the power 39 times 39 to the first power this is equal to 39 okay okay this is really important power rule and i hope you understand this okay what we're going to do next one really interesting moment i want to mention because right here we have all multiplication and one division yes yeah? so right here multiplication division and if you have only multiplication and division you can regroup this element wherever you want so for example you want to group these two elements you can easily do this so group i mean that you take it in parentheses yeah so we can write it as 40 to the power 39 all over 39 to the power 39. So let's group these two elements. We can do this. And of course, we need to multiply it by 1 over 39. Yeah, so we still have this, this constant right here. Okay, what are we going to do next? Take a look closely. We have situation like, I'm going to write the situation right here. We have situation like a to the power x raise all over b to the power x. So the same power, but different bases. So we can write it as a over b, all raised to the power x. Yeah, so let's let's apply this rule right here in this moment. I try to solve this step by step. I just want you to, I just want to all understand this question. So maybe uh, slowly, but I hope you understand this. So take a look, equal to, so we can write it as 40 over 39, all raised to the power 39 and times 1 over 39. So I hope you understand this step. Okay, let's go next. We have this expression. Let's try to work with this expression because this is a constant. So let's work with this expression. So right here we have 40 over 39. 40 over 39 can be written as as 1 plus 1 over 39. Yeah, so if you're talking about, about addition, so we can easily add it and we will have the same as right here and times 1 over 39. Okay, so really interesting moment. I hope you understand this step. This is the same because 39 over 39 plus 1 over 39 equal to 40 over 39. Okay, okay, and what it tells us this expression. So right here we have these parentheses raised to the power of 39, which signals us that right here we have this situation 1 plus 1 over 39 
times 1 plus 1 over 39 dot 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 right here we have like 1 plus 1 over 39 and maybe once more yeah we have like 1 plus 1 over 39 so as you can see and times 1 over 39 in the end this is a constant and one really interesting moment so we have this product we multiply in this product step by step by each other so 39 times 39 times okay and under this, I would, write, I would write another expression, and I hope you understand this, why I write this expression. So I'm going to write this expression. So 1 plus 1 half times 1 plus 1 third, and dot, 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 4, 5, 6, as, as you can see, and 1 plus 1 over 38 is the previous one, and the last one, 1 plus 1 over 39, and times... 1 over 39, yeah? So I, under this, I want to write this expression. And I want to mention one really interesting moment. Take a look. I write this expression, but if you look closely, if you compare these two expressions, so this is the same expression. This is the same element right here, so it doesn't compare this. This is the same expression as right here, so this is equal. But if you're talking about this step, if you're talking about this step, 1 plus 1 over 39 is greater than 1 plus 1 over 30, 38, sorry, is greater than this one in the, in the top. So this is greater. And in the beginning, 1 plus 1 half is greater than this expression. 1 plus 1 third is greater than 1 plus 1 over 39, yeah? Because 1 over, 1 over 39 is, is less than 1 third, yeah? And all these parentheses, if you're talking about this order, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 39, 38, will be greater greater but right here we cancel this expression so we are working only with this so we can write that our expression is equal to so let's write it let's add it so one plus one half this is three half three half times right here four third and I'm going to go further times five fours and dot 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 this one this is 39 over 38 times 40 over 39 this expression once more is 40 times this is 1 over 39 yeah 1 over 39 okay so i just add these elements in parentheses and let, let's look closer so right here three half right here we can cancel three right here we can cancel four and we go step by step step by step cancel cancel right here 39 39 we can cancel and what we still have right now we still have really interesting really interesting expression 38 cancel with this back number so we will have two right here we will have 40 and we will have 39 yeah but this expression that i write right here this is expression that i write in my head yeah but this expression that i i write right here this is greater than this one so this is less than this expression as right here is less than is less than right here we have 40 in our numerator and divided by 2 times 39 so 2 times 39 so which is equal to 40 over over 2 times 39 oh i i just do, i don't want to to multiply it so right here we can we can easily write it so this expression is less than one because we have 40 over like 60 no 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 like 78 yeah so this is less than one but this expression that i write right here is less than one then this one that I, we had before will be less than one yeah, so we can easily say that our expression is in the beginning, so 40 to the power 39 over 39 to the power 40 is less than 1. So, as I told before right here, we have that if less than 1, then our denominator will be greater. So then, this our, our number, denominator will be greater, so our final sign will be the next one. We can write it as 40 to the power 39 is less than 39 to the power 40. Maybe a little bit complicated explanation, but I wanted to put your attention right here in this step, because this is the main step right here, yeah? because we compare to product of parentheses and my imaginary no not like imaginary i take this expression from my head will be like greater than this one but in the same case it will be less than one so if this one is less than one then this expression as in the beginning will be less less than one this is my explanation to this problem if you still have any question write a question in a comment
Thank you for your time, have a great day. If you want to support me, please leave a like below the video, I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos.